about to go cut a tree out of a deck, me and the crew, the crew and I. Career day happening at school that my kids still get to go to so far. Pretty sure we got Pilot. I think I recognize this character mm. and this one. And I am her groundsman. <laughs> yeah, that makes her the boss. <laughs> All right, see you on the job. We just added on another tree. Oh. Oh, okay. Right. At least it's got a price. Well, you're here. Probably a decent price for what it is. It'd be real easy for you. No, I was like, if I had climbing gear, <laughs> I was like, you really guess should. what this is for? Mm. I got a little surprise here. Oh boy. Oh boy. YouTube, I don't know what that could be. Honestly, I don't. What is it? It's a 194. Ooh. You got yourself a 194. So I just wanted to try it out because of my friend, Dan Hargrave in the UK, who's had a lot of, he's been laid up for a while. And I was feeling for him and he was asking me about this saw. And I thought, well, we'll just try this oh, out for my. Dan. You must have So that he this. can get a good, Ah, dang it, they gave me the homeowner chain. They must have figured you were just a homeowner. Ah. Uh, okay, here's what we have today. We have this tree in the deck, tabletop level, they want it. And lucky for us, they're taking this pine out. Even if they weren't, we'd be able to use it. But at least we don't have to guard banging it or something. So I'll be setting, stripping this out, making a spar pole out of it. Probably speed lining the brush. This is uh, quite steep here. You can't tell on video, but it's steep. So we'll probably speed line downhill to a place where the skid steer can go back and forth. Set some rigging in it. And then we'll rig this tree over to that one and down in parts, in pieces. This one's coming out too, and Damien's gonna get started on that. Dan, this is not there? going to be an accurate. No, it wasn't Nick, it was oh, a different okay. guy. I asked him to set it up for me expecting, well, I talked to Nick. I mean, the other stuff he gave me is full skip, square tooth, you know, he knows. The other guy didn't know me. That's what I get for assuming. Oh my gosh. This will not be an accurate this test, Dan, because we're gonna be using the saw in its absolute lamest potential, which is how they give it to you. <laughs> uh, but. Maybe you'll get some some perception of what it's like. On the plus side though, it never gets too lame until you have to start filing it. Extra rakers like, like, extra drag. <laughs> yeah, so, that's true, that that's true. That's drag. What I'm doing here, YouTube, is I'm gonna put a super light 28 inch bar and 50 gauge, it's a 50 gauge bar and 50 gauge chain. Round ground square tooth, full skip. I like it when they start out round ground like that. So when you they know. start out round ground and you're gonna be round filing later anyway, it saves you the hassle of converting it from a square grind to a round grind. Yeah, the first file is always a little goofy. Okay, YouTube, here's where we're at. I, uh, I thought I would manhandle them all because I got industrious and then I decided, nah, some of these are getting kind of fat and it'd be easier to just put them on the speed line. So I went up there and I set the speed line and I set a rigging line and block to rig the other tree off of. As far as the saw goes, um, Dan Hargrave, this so far is just a total dog and I hate it. Um, not the saw really, but the chain. So if, once I get this bar and chain adapted to something cool like my panther quarter pitch stuff, then I think it'll be okay. But you know, it's heavier than my 2511, does not cut near as good. 
you know, they, they gave me the, the homeowner anti-kickback chain and it's garbage. So if you get it, you know, we'll do some more testing on it, Dan, and we'll, we'll put something better on it and then we'll talk to you about it. But uh, don't get it like this. Save your money. I'll take those uh, slings. We're bringing the Echo 2 just in case we hate the 194 because I guess that could be possible. It is like 10 o'clock and I still haven't started. I've just been prepping this, prepping that. I'm starting to wonder if I'm like stalling or something ridiculous. But it's gonna be fun. You know, it's nice to have a good plan. It's nice to have what you need. Today's career day. My kids are doing the career day thing and I thought that was a cool theme for the day. Maybe I'd talk about that a little bit. I'm all, I'm all decked out in the Bear Valley red. My wife would probably say that when I wear red, I'm like, I look like a washed out zombie, which is perfect because uh, the washed out zombie is uh, like my favorite role model from the movie Legend, you know, with Will Smith. So I'll talk about that later when it comes to the subject of career day. I hope you got to see that. It was kind of cool and it felt really cool to sway around, you know? All right, you guys, August just rigged out this nice uh, co-dominant top here. I put a little extra friction on the device because that could burn my hands a little bit probably.
straddle the rope with it because I don't have a sling. Stinking sling. We could lower them and rig them off at the speed line, and then the wood would end up down there. Yeah, using this. But I'll need some rigging for that. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can just tighten up the speed line, and when we lower it, it'll just go right over. I can probably speed line some of those limbs using this too as it is. All I got to do is redirect it over there. I could pop right over into that top and redirect it from the top. That's what I'm going to do. That'll be awesome. Okay, get me that speed line and then get me the other rigging line. Good one. Yeah. Yeah, and I have a, a camera on it that I'm gonna want back. Am I right? You guys? You wanna go? You wanna go on a ride? Yeah? Okay, last time. I should probably explain it. So we have the top. It's hooked to the speed line. It's also hooked to this rigging line over here. And um, the speed line will just kind of enable us to, to get it way down the hill where the skid steer can pick it up. And the rigging line will uh, stop all the sag that could endanger the deck so i'll probably have to cut it it leans back above me so i'll probably be grabbing this limb here and and shoving it also the speed line if they get the speed line really tight that'll pull the top that direction and it'll help me quite a bit oh yeah that'll help a lot yeah that'll help a lot to make my life easy I gotta have my knee up like this because my lower back is just fried. I gotta change the way you do things when you get older. To which the old guys will say, you're not old. And I'll say, my back does not know that. You guys ready? One of the things we don't wanna do when we're doing this is, is my line goes up there with the rigging line. We don't really wanna sweep my line and give me a big yank. So it's kind of important the direction that this goes. Alright guys, check this out. That worked out pretty well. The red rigging line held the load while it was being kind of somewhat dispersed by the rigging line. And our skid steer's right there. We're just gonna grab that thing and take it right down the road to the chipper. Okay, YouTube, a little update for you. For those who care, we have 
redirected the speed line to the top of this tree from from over there see and then I've also redirected my DRT here so that I can go straight down right and the way this tree leans with all these big huge limbs out there it's gonna be really awkward to like cut pieces with the limbs still on them so I think I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna get individual limbs and zip them out and then maybe we'll do some brushy stuff after we get some of this lower stuff out so YouTube so I'm kind of hooking these way out because it'll shorten the limbs overall di distance as it sags because it will sag toward that roof you'll see that speed line pulled really tight as it comes off. Okay. to show you is frowned upon in some places but I'm gonna show you anyway see that's all I've got right there and then over here to the anchor Okay, because this line, this rigging line, the piece is going to drop like this, which is going to bind this rope against this, which is going to be down here. Okay, and there's a sling on either one that'll guide it out to the spot. And I'll get you guys later off the, they'll have to send you back up to me.
I wonder if I should hook that rigging line out there, Adam. Ah, uh, I think I should. Because otherwise we're going to be hitting the corner of the house there. You can use that thing all you want. I don't care. Okay, pull it tight. I'll take it back as soon as I can get it. Hey August, peel this one down to me. I saw my life flash before my eyes on that one. Okay, get on the speed line. show you that again YouTube it's kind of a dark art I guess but old school what you're doing as this as this turns like this then it'll bind right here and you just do that again and again 
it's a little sketchy to some people because it's not technically tied. It's just like, um, kind of snagged. <laughs> I snagged it. Once you get used to it, it's not that complicated because they're all the same. No, I'm a, I'm a little confused. I'll do a couple more limbs and then I'll send a big piece of wood, yeah. <laughs> nice flick. Something happened there and I'm not even quite sure. When you're doing this, well, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Okay, uh, well, I'll put a couple more slings on it. It'll help. Ah, eh, just one. That ought to do. When you're, when you're cutting these, uh, YouTube, when you're doing this, like this and there's a short tether between things it makes them want to pop and shoot back at you and try to get you and so you got to be ready to dodge or just put yourself in a good spot <laughs> I should mention one thing actually it's spooky watching them because <laughs> if you if you hooked it up the wrong way it would just spin out and fall right so oh another thing if they encounter resistance from below on the way down it lifts the weight off of the bind and the piece can fall out so this method is truly only to be used if you know ex can deliberately plan exactly how it's going to go i guess <laughs> kind of cool I mean that's quite a bundle okay next next one's gonna have a big piece of wood on it I'll take that rigging line 
I'll take my redirect off. This top here, this, this log with limbs, will be hooked to the zip line, speed line, and the rigging line, and we'll go down and cut it wood and all. That speed line we're gonna want really tight, because it'll help pull it the direction I need. to get the main rigging line tighter. It's not going to be necessary. Uh, a good drone vantage point would be cool, but that's okay. Okay, here we go. at those tolerances. It's even pointing the right way. That's because the speed line is attached to the top of it. Uh, so while I'm waiting on them, I'll show you what I got here. This is a Humboldt with a snipe on the log. And then it's hooked to the rigging line as well as the speed line because it'll just it's already set up anyways and it'll help us get the log closer to the road down there He's doing a super awesome tree climber pros. He's actually doing aerial yoga. Yeah, pull on that speed line, it'll go. 
There it is. There it is. <laughs> Don't be scared, Deck. It's gonna be okay. It'll, it'll, it'll make it to the road. to some noteworthy thing to mention. I don't know if I'll show you this or not, but the guy originally said cut this tree down. And so Damien's going up there and he's making all these flush cuts because he's peeling the limbs down and handing them off to people and stuff. And he's like manhandling them and you peel them and hang them. And so you have to flush cut like mad. So flush cutting is not cool when you're pruning. Well, and he's spurring it. And then the guy comes out later and is all, that looks great, just stop, don't cut it down. You could make an argument right there for like, nope, we're cutting it down. We're not leaving our, you know, we're not leaving it like this because it's hard to do that. Customers don't understand. He's a responsible enough guy that he takes care of dead trees and hazards and stuff as they, ha as they occur. So we trust that this tree caches in or something which i don't think it will it'll just have an ugly signature on it so now what's left i think damien's gonna go up this tree and just finish it off it's really just send a top and piece it out down here peace out Pretty fair standing, but uh, the the deep notch allowed me to put it down without a wedge. I just realized I forgot to tell you all about my uh, role model, the zombie. And if you watch the movie Legend, I've talked about this before. There goes Adam. What I liked about that zombie that was always trying to kill Will Smith. <laughs> is that he was so focused and driven. So when it comes to a career, you know, do what you want to do. I mean, I suppose you can't always do what you want to do. You have to like start at the bottom at places and stuff. But the point is you just push towards what floats your boat. You know what I mean? What floated that zombie's boat was killing Will Smith, okay? What floated Will Smith's boat was finding a cure 
to the zombie or whatever. He's willing to die to do it. The zombie was already dead, or he was undead. So he was willing to put himself through great bodily harm for one purpose, and that was to get Will Smith. So figure out what your Will Smith is in life and just pursue it. There's this part where the where Will Smith is behind the glass and he's he's working on to the last second for the cure or something like that. And um, the zombie, he, he don't know how to get through the glass. He's not that smart. But he just keeps throwing his body at the glass. And then the glass starts to crack. Will Smith's like, oh no, this guy's gonna succeed. This loser is actually gonna succeed at what he loves to do, which is get Will Smith. So, Sure enough, man, the glass cracks and there's just enough spark of intelligence in the eye of the zombie that he's like, I see a crack. You're going down, Will Smith. And uh, sure enough, he keeps throwing his body. I mean, he just throws his whole body at it. He just runs at it and just, he don't even go like this, you know? Just absolutely driven. He gets Will Smith. Of course, Will Smith gets him. But, but he gets Will Smith in the end. If it wasn't for him, Will Smith would have had a much longer, happier life probably in that movie. So uh, find what you love, pursue it, keep banging on it. I'm not saying you knock down closed doors, really. You keep going through the doors that open for you with your mind focused on what you really, really love to do. It could be skateboarding. You could be that kid that's like, I want to be a rock and roll star that people say, you know, get a real job to. Well, some of them turn into rock and roll stars. Whatever you love, man, there's still, there's still ways to get it. The freedom ain't gone yet. Go out there and get it. Yeah, my son, he wants to be a pilot, and I'd like him to achieve that. I'll do what I can to promote that. My daughter, she, she likes the tree climbing thing, and, um... I don't know if she likes a lot of stuff so I'll just promote her wherever she uh, wherever she wants to go the tree life you know it's a hard life but it has such epic moments it has there's just something really really cool about the problem solving like I always say we're movers we're going to move that thing from where it's at over to over here and we have to do it without damaging the house you know like the movers they have to move stuff without damaging the furniture right well we have to move that tree out of your deck without damaging the deck without damaging the other trees without damaging the septic without damaging the roof so there's something about it problem solving aspect to it the rigging the wangle dangle uh, physics I just love it and I know there's a bunch of you out there that just love it and you'll have to go through a lot of pain and suffering you know if you're young to to like get those really great moments that you crave when it when you put a plan together and it all works like the a team you know I love it when a plan comes together but it's so nice when it does. It's like surfing, you know? You ever go surfing? There's a lot of paddling out, okay? When you're paddling out and your neck is cranked up, it's not as much fun as catching the wave. So it's kind of like that with tree work. If you really, really love it, you'll paddle out, you'll climb up to get those moments when you just get that hero shot, you know, when you thread the needle right through there and the proximities are close and there's risk reward, there's butterflies and it works out through trial and error and grace, it works out.